Nunavut is standing at zero and five, and the Yukon one and three. So sit back and relax and enjoy the game. Uh, yes. In, in our game this morning, uh, Nunavut is uh, throwing the Yellowstones and uh, Manitoba the red. And we have uh, Baschuk in the hack right now, getting ready to throw for Manitoba. I think everybody's enjoying the, uh, the speed of the ice and the amount of curl we have here. Yes, it's. A, I think it's running pad as you were doing at about 14-2. Is it still running pretty strong? That's hog to hog. Uh, I haven't done a, a time on any of the rocks yet this morning, but it's uh, fairly cold out this morning. Uh, it shouldn't affect the ice inside the building too much. Uh, but it's about uh, when I got in the car this morning from over, it was 16 below. I think it's warmed up a little bit since then, not very much. <laughs> yeah, it, it was very chilly at, back home too. I'm just above him, so. Uh. I'll try and get one on the, this is a challenge thrown for none of it, and uh, he's gonna try a, a draw here, a guard to uh, lay it out in front of the house. Let's see if I can get a time on this one. Uh, hog to hog here. Fourteen seconds should be just into the house, and it is they're sweeping hard and bring it right back to the tee line. So that's uh, fourteen point one, and uh, that's pretty much what it's been running all week. So we're looking at uh, probably a good uh, four feet of curl on a draw to the side. So excellent ice. Yes, uh, that's uh, the all teams. Uh, we got to give uh, kudos to our ice maker. Uh, there, there's uh, three or four of them here, but we do have a main one, uh, and he's doing a very, very phenomenal job actually doing the ice, and along with his helpers. Yes, for sure. Trying for a double here in Manitoba, and they just missed the double, but they did get a nice side roll in behind the cover there. So. And uh, Manitoba does have the hammer on, uh, on this end, so. And I believe we, uh, we might be having a guess, a guess color person with a color commentator here after Pat uh, with us. Well, we have one here. Now. We have one there here now. Uh, he doesn't have much to say. He so. was, uh, it's uh, uh, Cameron Barth's uh, father, uh, Glenn, and they're in from Manitoba, and and, and Glenn might be uh, up here uh, or. Uh, Cameron might be up here giving us some play-by-play. -play. So, Glenn, how are you enjoying the uh, Miramichi today? <laughs> today? Yes, and all week. I'm sorry about that, all week. Uh, this has been a very successful uh, uh, show, and, uh, and our team is doing very well so far. And, uh, it's, uh, accommodations are good, and uh, the weather... The weather is not too bad, but there's a ton of snow here. It's more, much more than we get in March. Uh, but uh, uh, everybody's very friendly, and the food is good, and everything is perfect so far. Well, that's, that's good, uh, uh, Glenn. I'm gl glad you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're getting to see more than just the curling club here in the Miramichi, because there is a lot to see. I mean, not too much in the winter time, it's, uh, but there's still lots to do here in the Miramichi in the winter time also. So uh, uh, your team is uh, uh, is up uh, four and zero in the standing. So uh, they almost look like they're going to be uh, into the playoff zone. So which is a good thing. And you have another son here also that that uh, is uh, their fifth, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And his name is uh, Scott Scott Barth. So Scott could be getting into a game today, possibly. And it'd be nice for you to see both your sons playing, wouldn't it? That'd be perfect. Um, our second. Uh, has a pull growing and uh, there's a possible chance that he would not be able to curl and that's why Scott came as the fifth as the alternate uh, but this morning I was talking to him and he's uh, he's got some pain and so he made it's all depends he may not even be able to finish this game we don't know that so uh, I'm hoping that maybe he does so that uh, Scott can get to play some but uh, Scott is hoping that he doesn't have to play <laughs> Well, that's when the team is doing good, they don't like to upset it. So, yeah. 
Well, thank you very much, uh, Glenn, and uh, you're sitting here beside us, so we could be asking you questions now and then. So, okay. thank you for you uh, for your help. See, Manitoba, Pat has uh, uh, counting three in the ring, so they have uh, Nunavik behind the. Everything is behind the T line except for the one up in the edge of the twelve, at the top of the top of the twelve. Yeah, it's it's just biting up there, but uh, yeah, none of it. I suppose we'll uh, try and hit and stay there. Maybe maybe get a slight roll to lay number one in behind that uh, number one shooter now. So. Larrabee is in the hack. Uh, yes, Alex Larrabee is the uh, skip for Nunavik. They've been having a rough time, but a lot of the uh, northern teams do have a lot. Of, they haven't got as much experience because they don't get to travel a lot to curl. So, yeah, that's true. And and, and, and you're only and you're curling. These are mostly ninety percent, ninety nine percent are all club curlers. So, you know, I don't know how much, uh, like you say, how much uh, clubbing they do, how uh, how many clubs they are at in Nunavik. So I'm not sure on that part. No. And, Mostly in the, in the far north, uh, teams that do travel have to travel by plane, and it's a very expensive way to go to curling. Yes, I uh, see the skip put his broom down. We got the, the mate to put the uh, broom there. He's just a hit and stick. A little bit, maybe a roll, a little bit to the left, maybe, but uh, we'll it see could how force it, them. We'll see how it goes here. And, uh, I would imagine we might see the the other Barth boy in here before this game is over. So. Yes, yes. Well, uh, hopefully we will. We'll bring well, up his brother for a guest speaker. I know if he's uh, if he's got a groin injury, it's uh, it's pretty hard throwing the rocks with a groin injury. So so maybe it'll give him a break if uh, if he takes it off. If this game gets a little out of hand, he he might have a chance to uh, rest that up a little bit before the playoffs. So. Yes, because uh, a groin injury along with, in, in curling is not very good because you're you're stretching out there to throw the rock in the first place. So I see they're all warming up very well, and that's what you have to do. So it's a big game here for Manitoba, actually. Yes, and and once again they're they're lying three. So and this is the uh, the last rock for none of it here. So. See, he makes a makes a takeout, but Manitoba has a very good chance to pick up three in this end. Yes, the uh, skip Alex Larrabee now will be attempting to hit and roll in behind here, and uh, the ice is uh, is curling pretty good. Pat, uh, they're throwing like it looks like a normal takeout, and it's still curling. Well, it curls hard here. They better get on this. He better get on this, or he could. Uh, he could all be together. missing all together. It's correct, Pat. He's going to get a roll, that's for sure. Maybe right out. Nope. Nice roll. Great shot. Great shot. He's lying one now. That's the overhead a, board. That was a beauty. Uh, and I believe they're going to try and chip it out. Looks like from here is. Yes. He's faced with a tough shot here and throwing the, the out turn for the first time. Coming down here, they seem to play the one side of the sheet here, which is. He's got to throw some decent, decent weight here to hold that on that turn. I believe it that run, it runs a little straighter with the out turn here, though. Been, this is about our fifth or sixth game on this uh, this sheet, so. I believe Pat also that uh, uh, even a hit and stick would uh, eliminate would get him as two, I believe. He got his two. He picked it out clean. Beautiful shot. Great shot by uh, Manitoba skip uh, Andrew Whitman. And Manitoba now go up two nothing after the first end. That's what the team is four and oh. <laughs> As uh, the, one of the fathers said, and that's why Manitoba's four and oh because of the skip. Well, skip gets all the credit sometimes. <laughs> A lot but of the time. A lot of the times, yeah. He only gets the, he gets the credit in the wins. There's also people that lose too, but 
Usually the skip doesn't get the blame. He's trying for a center line guard here. And the boys are sweeping hard, but it looks like it has plenty of weight. Maybe they're playing right into the house. Also, uh, there's all men's teams here this morning. And uh, we'll give you some up to date scores there very shortly uh, once they put the scores on the board. I believe Alberta and PEI are on uh, sheet F. Our feature game, Manitoba and Nunavik, is on sheet E. Northern Ontario and the Northwest Territories are on sheet D. Ontario and Saskatchewan are on sheet C. On sheet B. I think it's BC, should be BC and Newfoundland according to the schedule. And on sheet A. <laughs> they got us blocked out there, so uh, because the schedule in the main book is a little different than what we're looking at. Yes, it's uh, it's hard to tell, but it it certainly is uh, colorful out here with the, all the teams wearing their uh, provincial colors. Uh, should be Quebec over there in the blue, light blue. Okay, yes, it would be Quebec in the, in the I believe one of the uh, one territories. Of the, yeah. Yes, that would be uh, Skip Sias. Oh, yeah, that's, yes, out of the north, out of the, the Yukon territories. Yeah. Show it here in the uh, original schedule as the, as the pink, but it's not. It's actually the these are all the men's yeah. here this morning. So just a mass of colors. That's all. That's no big deal. They they changed the colors on us. <laughs> that they, is correct. They didn't change the sex of the players. At the <laughs> no, because they're showing pink on the schedule, and uh, usually the pink is the ladies. So. But I believe that all the uh, 28 teams that are here are having a great week. Uh, some of them are in the schedule uh, uh, seems to be uh, over. It, it's a lot of people are watching this game. I was downstairs earlier there a little early this morning for the fans, but they are coming out in pretty good uh, numbers here, Pat, to, to uh, support this. It usually, uh, a lot of the people that came here for the first time, uh, some of them don't have very high expectations. It's just the the thing of being here and enjoying yourself and uh, doing the best you can, because uh, let's face it, some of the some of the places there have powerhouse teams. And it doesn't matter what division they're playing in or what level of uh, curling, they, they all get a lot more experience in clubs. Because if you're in a club where uh, a team's down going to the Briar and, and the Scotties every year, or you know. It, you uh, you gain a lot more experience because you end up playing against some of those players at different times in your in your club. And uh, when you come here, if all you ever see is, is your own club curling, you uh, you don't have a chance to gain that experience. So they don't come in with a big expect expectations, but uh, the uh, women's team from the Yukon has really done well this year. So. I believe it's the Yukon. They were uh, three and or four and all. There's the lady standing there, Pat. Uh, oh, the Northwest Territories. Uh, yeah. Yeah, four and all. They're really doing well. Yeah, the Northwest Territories are four and all. Alberta three and one. British Columbia three and two. Northern Ontario two two. Saskatchewan two and two. Nunavik one and four, and Quebec in Pool A are 0 and four. Yeah, yeah. I watched uh, some of the Yukon game last night, and uh, they beat Saskatchewan, I believe, last night here, and uh, they really curled well in that game. And uh, I've seen an interview with their uh, with their skip, and uh, she says that she's having a hard time believing that they're doing that well. So. <laughs> 
but they're they're played an excellent game last night. I watched quite a bit of that game last night. Manitoba's putting some pressure on again. Yes, they do. Uh, they're laying two again this end, and uh, and of course none of it has uh, has the hammer this time. But they might have to use it. Their skip might have to make a good play and. This end with his last rock, like the Manitoba skip did last time. Yes, sir, that very well could be. Uh, just going back to the pool B in the ladies, as uh, Manitoba leads the way there in the in the ladies also in four and zero. Oh. Nova Scotia three and one, Ontario three and one, Newfoundland Labrador are three and two, New Brunswick is uh, one and three, Yukon is one and four, and Prince Edward Island is zero oh and four. Yes, that's. Uh that's pretty good curling. Yes, it is. Uh, like for club championship, this is the uh, top of the line for them. And uh, looks like uh, Manitoba will a little heavy on the draw there. So Yes, uh, Patty, you were saying uh, very colorful it is with all the, the colors of each uh, province. Also, the way the advertisers here... Uh, in our uh, curling club uh, in the, at the Eagle Center, uh, we have uh, lots, lots of sponsors. Uh, Town Ford is one of the bigger, big sponsors, along with the City of Miramichi and the Province of New Brunswick. We also have the Pizza Delight uh, and the uh, Jet Ice people for the ice making, and uh, of course, Curling Canada are also in there. And there's, there's all kinds. We'll be going through them as, as we as we go along and, and give you an update on the. Who our sponsors are, and uh, Pat, you see, you got some there, and you could probably read them out also. Well, I get pretty look, good looking spread for meals in here. Yes, they do. Yeah, that's uh, quite a few different places: Pizza Delight, Subway, uh, Tim Hortons, of course, one of the sponsors here, and still got their uh, cup on the ice there. Yes, <laughs> the people keep going, trying to fill it up. Yeah, putting rocks in it. Yes, putting rocks in it. <laughs> Anyway, we have the uh, Town Auto Group, too, with uh, Ford, Chrysler, and uh, Mazda. And uh, we have uh, Sobeys and uh, Hubert Willison Construction, and uh, of course, Capers Pub and Eatery, and uh, Kent's Building Supplies. And we have a lot of sponsorship here. And uh, apparently we have a lot of curling fans that uh, I have, some of them I haven't seen for quite a while, but they come out to to see this uh, excellent bond spin. Yeah, that, that's great because uh, a lot of support here in the Mary Machine, along with, like we say once again, there's about 75 volunteers, 80 volunteers helping to make this thing a huge success. Right from the early morning, people that uh, make the breakfasts to the late evening, people that have to do all the cleanup and get it ready for the next day. I heard a, a figure last night that was. Uh, well over 100 volunteers. Is it, that's wonderful, and uh, that's even better because the, the more volunteers, it's it's uh, better it will run, and everyone doesn't get worn out. I know we have uh, we have quite a few here from our afternoon leagues on the uh, this Omega League that we play in on Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. There's uh, about 75 to 80 percent of the people at Curlin that are, are here volunteering this week. So that's a uh, pretty good turnout for. For our numbers. Yes, uh, Nunavik is going to draw to the open side here by the look of it, uh, Pat. Uh, instead of going after uh, number one rock in there is Manitoba's rock. Yes, I'm not uh, quite certain why they're leaving that alone. They must think they can get that out. Yeah, they don't want to disturb the... Uh, this is a good looking rock. He you know, should, uh, should be in for number one after this. Be very close. Will be very close. Yes, it is. And looks like that it is uh, number yeah, one. Yeah, just just number one, I think. Uh, I believe he won at that pat, so he can uh, possibly get a, a nose hit there. Possibly looking at a double as he's. That would be available if he stays right there, but uh, we we'll see what happens here. Just a reminder here, a uh, season of champion, Tim Horton Breyer, uh, 2-9 in 2019 by Curling Canada, will be in Mes West Toba Place and Brandon Manitoba. 
along with the uh, and the men's world curling is in Lethbridge in 219, March the 30th till April the 7th. And that will be at the. We made it closer for a double now. Yes, that double is there. So it's uh, it's not flat, so uh, he's going to play it. It's uh, it's fairly flat, but uh, he, he needs to get uh, probably three quarters of that rock, I would think, to slide it over. And We're going to try it with the outdoor, the Callaway. The Callaway Curling Club that uh, Team Nunavik is out of, and uh, Team Manitoba is out of the Fort Rouge Curling Club. So uh, back there, it's a little early in the morning for, the, for those people. <laughs> I believe it's around 6 o'clock or so <laughs> in the morning, 6 a.m. I'm not sure about the Callaway. Uh, yeah, that could be even earlier. The Manitoba, I believe, is three hours, three to four hours. Well, let's face it, the Callaway is probably dark all the time now anyway, so. Yes, that's right. That you is wouldn't true. know whether it was morning or evening. <laughs> anyway, he is playing a double here, I believe. It's not curling too much. He's staying to the outside like of it. He could be rolling. He just got outside a little bit, and with that weight pad, it won't stay. It's going to barely touch it anyway. He got it, but it uh, isn't really what he was trying for. Yeah, once you once you up your weight pad, day it's hard to make it curl. So yeah. doesn't want to move too much with any kind of weight at all. I would imagine that the takeout's probably about a nine, and they're saying maybe a ten to let it curl a little bit. And who's uh, Manitoba going to try and put one? Back over there, I believe. Yes, he's going to separate them and get over to the uh, so that there won't be a double there for them. And before be a, make it a force, he has to draw into the full eight foot. And they're on it right away, so. Looks pretty good. I got 14.3 on this that one. That should be right on the money, Patty, right in the four foot, the piece, maybe even a piece of the four foot off so close to it. So now Univic is forced to uh, draw, I believe. They're down, to the, on? down to their last rock. I think he's going to play a hit on it. What that is. We'll check and see what he throws. It might, it might be a straight draw, but I mean, that's a wide open hit and stick with a chance to roll over the other way. So. But it would be for, for one in any case. So. Yeah, it looks like that, uh, you could write him out there. He looks like he's just going to play the hit by looking at it. Check it out here. Yeah, with that weight, it's. Uh, that weight had to it's look like he got out a little bit on it. Uh, it's got a curl. It has to curl for him to stick around. It could be a steal of one here. Uh, it is, it's maybe two. It's staying out. He's got it, all right. No, he's got it. He's got it. Uh, but Give up one. Steal one. No, once again, Pat, up your weight there, you know, uh, it's going to run just straight for you. Yeah. I never talked to too many men about their ice, but uh, a couple of the women's teams saying that uh, the ice they play on is uh, awful straight. Uh, doesn't hardly any curl at all, and even with their draws. So they're finding this quite quite a bit different than their home sheets. And, uh, yeah, I was talking to a couple of men's teams on uh, Tuesday, uh, uh, and they said they liked the lots of swing and lots of swing in there. You're talking three, four feet of swing here. Yeah, you get. Uh, 10 foot separation on the rocks and then you get by the top one and you're right on the face of the one in behind it. So that's a lot of curl in a short while, especially when the rock is starting to to lose its speed as it's, it's slowing down and uh, really picks up the curl hard. Uh, Pat and I are back on the, uh, after this game, and we're back on the on the sheet, uh, Sheet E at uh, 12.30, and we'll be doing the, uh, I believe it's the uh, ladies, Alberta and Nunavik then. 
on the on the sheet E, and then the other TB uh, one will be uh, on the women's also will be Ontario and uh, PEI at uh, that'll be on at 12:30 uh, Atlantic time. Mm. It's uh, busy times for me. I'm uh, I'm kind of enjoying it rather than sitting at home watching TV all the time. You would have to go online and stream it, Pat, and watch the curling online. Yeah. <laughs> or we could be at our coffee break about now. Usually we'd be walking into our coffee room about now. But I enjoy doing this here also. Yes. So after uh, the uh, third end, it's uh, Manitoba over Nunavik 3 0 as they stole one in the. Uh, in the second end. Uh, they just made a, a beautiful come around here too and uh, they're putting pressure, more pressure on none of us. Trying to build a build a good lead here and stay undefeated. Yes, and that's a, that's a big thing to do. Uh, and, uh, I'll assure them a, 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 assure them a, a playoff uh, guaranteed a spot in the quarterfinal for sure. Just a matter of. Uh, well, I believe there's only uh, six games in the uh, round robin. Each team plays six games. I okay. Believe. Yeah. And, and uh, seven teams in each division, so they would play each other once. And that would be six games, and yeah. uh, if you're at four, four and all, oh, it's pretty. You're probably going to be in the playoffs. You'll be in the quarterfinal for sure. Guaranteed the quarterfinal. And uh, that's what we're looking at for tomorrow morning as uh, tiebreakers. And uh, a lot of teams in the divisions are tied right now. But this this would give Manitoba some uh, separation here and uh, probably might even end up first. Yeah, well, uh, if, they, if they happen to come out on top of here, they'll make them five and all. And... Uh, Next to them is is Nova Scotia at four and one. So I don't know if they played Nova Scotia yet or not, Pat. Uh, I, I want to check my schedule here and see if they have played them. So Manitoba is lying too here now. The skips looking for a double and a roll for none of it. Wait on that takeout. Well, he did get the rocket, and uh, Manitoba's still lying one. Mr. Baschuk is going to try and make a takeout on that uh, none of it row. Like a good shot from here. Starting to curl. Just gets a piece of it. Bumps his rocks over. Great but they're, they're still lying too. At uh, Manitoba, if they've played Nova Scotia yet, and uh, the, uh, and the schedule in the book is a little different than the one uh, I'm looking at here. So, nice shot by Chowan there for the none of it. Great separation there if I uh Manitoba. Manitoba will take try and take that rock out and uh, 
they've been shooting pretty pretty well on these takeouts and not making too many mistakes. <coughs> Starko throwing this rock. Uh, he's got it, but he's going to roll maybe out. It's a little lighter on the side, so they're still laying too now. See on uh, sheet A, Quebec is uh, leading the Yukon two to nothing. Sheet B, uh, that would be uh, British Columbia <laughs> in uh, Newfoundland, and British Columbia leads uh, four to three. On sheet C is uh, Saskatchewan and Ontario, and. Uh, Saskatchewan is leading two to one. Sheet D in Northern Ontario and the Northwest Territories. And that score is 1-1 one, one after uh, two wins. Yes, I uh, see uh, uh, Team Univic. Uh, they uh, slid through the, the house and Manitoba will try to come around that center guard there now. So. Yeah, they're looking to... Uh, I no, did find no. uh, Nova Scotia and uh, Manitoba. Uh, Pat uh, is showing that it's in the pink side of it, so I'm not sure it could be the, the men's yeah. on the schedule there. So mm -hmm. yeah, that could determine uh, first place too. Well, uh, Manitoba only has one game left after this, so we can see where they're playing here. We kind of eliminate uh, who they haven't played. Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, they could be at uh, a four o'clock draw there in Nova Scotia, Manitoba. It's <laughs> a big weight at this. Got the top one out of there. Almost made a almost double on it. Yes, almost had the double on it. Yeah, Manitoba will now attempt to put that yard up. I'm going to try and put it back pretty close to where it was. Yeah, we're now at Skip Rocks. And Andrew Whitman <laughs> now will attempt to throw the center line guard. Manitoba skip. Yes, it is. Yes, uh, Andrew Wickman. He's not long in the hack. He likes to not waste time. Nevertheless, it's still a, it's still a guard, and uh, New York will try to uh, get a chance here for a double. They're going to try and double them off, and uh, if they do, they'll be sitting one with the hammer. You see how Mr. Larrabee does here. Struggling with the ice there right now, Patty seems like he is, so because once you give him a little bit of weight, it just floats out there. I think he's closer this time. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, he, he downed his weight. This looks to be about board weight. But I believe he could have a double on the outside one. It's a tough shot. That was a tough shot. I'm just wondering why he's, uh, his rocks are not curling. You can see he's, he's getting a little frustrated with himself right now. And I believe he was on the broom, but he, he, may have, he may have just set it a little bit when he was... And he was letting it go. Yes, well, the ice is not forgiving. No. <laughs> Manitoba will attempt to put a guard up once again. He'd like to probably bite the bite the top of the 12 foot would be a great shot, actually. And they're on it right away, so they're... they're Not coming over that much for them. It's starting to move now, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. But if they can get in to bite the, uh, there she comes there, Pat. I don't know if it's going to be enough. No late movement. Late yes. movement, uh, three quarters showing with the intern. You should take a fair amount of ice here. Not, yeah, he is. Uh, just throw, draw weight enough to bump it back a, a foot. Yes. Most he can get is one anyway, so. Yeah, it'd be a bad time to. Uh, you wouldn't want to try and pick it or anything. If you're wrecked, you give up three. And if you just cut a piece of it, you're still going to give up two, so. Yeah, he's not quite sure. So he, he will probably, like you say, play the draw weight. Just to tap back for one. Yeah, just play back eight or something and move that rock a foot and a half or so, and he'd be, he'd be fine. It, it's uh, biting the button that rock, so just has to move it a foot. <laughs> Looks like Pat uh, his weight. Uh, he threw a little bit of weight. He threw a little bit of weight, but it should it's move. It should move here. It's starting to come now for him, but I don't. I don't believe that oh. Pat's going to be enough. Oh, there's enough weight. But he rolls off too far and gives up Ooh. two. It will be a steal of two. And Manitoba will take a 5 nothing lead. So uh, what's going on, Pat, this year uh, in the... Uh, Curling side, the season of champions, 218-219. Tim Hortons Briar is in uh, West Toba, plays in Brandon, Manitoba, March the 2nd to the 10th. The 218 uh, Home Hardware Canada Cup is December the 5th to the 9th at the Infinity Place in Estevan, Saskatchewan. That's in 2018. And the World Men's Curling Lethbridge uh, 219 is uh, March the 30th to April the 7th at uh, and it's, uh, NMAX Center in Lethbridge, Alberta. Then we have the New England or New Holland Canadian Juniors at uh, by Can Curl Canada, and it's in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, from January the 19th to the 27th. And we have the World Con Continental Cup in Vegas at the Orleans and uh, 219 Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. I was at the World Cup last year, at the World Championship last year, and it was a great spot. And we have the Scotties in uh, Sydney, Nova Scotia. And it's at Center 200 uh, from February the 16th to the 24th. A lot of good curling coming up. Yes, and uh, get us through the winter. Yes, and we can do a lot of armchair curling there. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> we don't seem to miss a shot when you're armchair curling, do we? Not too many. No. <laughs> you don't get that little twitch when you're letting the rock go. Yeah. Once again, we like to. Uh, uh, Congratulate uh, Mayor Machine for hosting this great uh, Canadian tournament, the Travelers Canadian Curling. And from what I understand, we can really thank uh, Club President Sean Ingersoll and uh, and Mr. Hubert Willison for uh, all the work they did in, in uh, 
getting the uh, bonds people to come here. Yes, uh, I believe they were at the Travers Cup uh, two years ago, Pat, was it? Uh, two or three years ago in uh, Toronto or Ottawa? Yeah, it was up in, yeah, it was, it was in Ontario. I think it was Ottawa, Pat, and they had a, they enjoyed themselves, and that's when they got the idea that they're, they're going to bring the Travers Cup to here, and then what a great job they did in, in succeeding to, to get them to, uh, to come here. Uh, no doubt that the uh, word could get around, and we may get to host uh, another national event. Yes, uh, you know, not too many uh, curling clubs have six sheets of ice, and this is a brand new, up to the uh, state of the art. Uh, this building's only about 10 years old, and also is home to the uh, to uh, tourism for the city. And there's other different uh, events that take place in the uh, in the Eco Center. Yes, it's. Uh, I think it's probably not utilized enough for the for the building we, that we do have here. So. It could see a little more activity, I would think. Yes, and you are right, Pat. That in the summertime, uh, like it's used as a tourism information center, and uh, right across the road from it is a uh, French Fort uh, Cove, uh, and we have zip line there. We have the longest zip line there in Atlantic Canada, yeah. and uh, we have trails. We have bike trails. We have uh, all all types of different events over there at the French Fort Cove, which is only 500 feet from from the uh, curling venue. That's right. Uh, we have a lot of summer summertime activities here too, uh, other than fishing, and uh, that's always been big. And now, uh, since the, uh, 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 the the team is very fun-loving guys. Uh, okay. Well, here we we have uh, Glenn once again. We love Glenn Glenn Barth here, and we're going to ask him a couple of questions about uh, Team Manitoba. So, so uh, you go ahead, Glenn, and uh, maybe describe your Manitoba team, who is now sitting in first place. Uh, uh, they've curled together for about four years. Uh, 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 second is uh, as a new team member this year, uh, but they've known each other for going 30 years. And, uh, they are uh, very friendly, uh, fun-loving guys, and they love lots of laughter and, and uh, they're very good teammates. That's good. That's good. I see we have a, a guest a guest behind us here, and I believe that's your son, uh, uh, Cameron. Is yeah. it Cameron? Hello. Come on over and sit down here, and uh, and uh, here you you have a little bit of an injury, so you took yourself out of the game. Oh, I'm feeling fine, folks out there. <laughs> <laughs> your team is your team is doing very well in, in this Travelers Cup, and is this your first time at the Travelers, or your second, or yeah, that's a, a negative. Update. That's. Uh, we went in 2016 to Kelowna. Yes. We had a great time, and we knew we had to get back here. <laughs> you know, it's a long road. Everything here is fantastic. Ice is fantastic. People here, so friendly. We've made a lot of friends. That's Seen that. a lot of bars. <laughs> <laughs> and you had a couple of pops then, I assume. A few pops. Yes, a little sir. bit of seafood. Maybe we OD'd. <laughs> We do have, we are known for our seafood here in Atlantic well, Canada. Your father, we're still rolling. Your father just said you were fun loving much. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's right on that one. I see this rock coming down here. Looks, uh, looks like they could use me out there. <laughs> oh, I think your brother could probably fill in well for you. <laughs> we did have a switch out there with the fifth. Scott Barth now has moved into uh, Team Manitoba's uh, lineup as his brother is a little, uh, maybe uh, just hurting a little bit. They say you pulled your, you pulled your uh, we muscle. We won't ask how that happened. No, we will leave that. that could have, we'll blame it on the ice. We'll blame it on the ice, but uh, I hope you, are you enjoying the Miramichi? Oh yeah, we, we've maybe enjoyed it a little too much, if you know what I mean. Yes, oh, well that's what club curling's all about, enjoying yourself. Uh, no, you, got, you gotta watch when you're doing that dance and you might get a strain in your groin or something. I know, we, we know all about that. You know, we'll see what the boys are gonna do here. You know, they're talking strategy. That's not one of the strong points of our team because I'm not out there. But, uh, but so uh, Right now, usually the boys would be asking me what we would what kind of shot we throw here. Oh, okay. so you're but kind you of the guru. See, well, yeah. you can see the confusion in their eyes. <laughs> well, Mr. Uh, <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't trained your brother yet for that, have you? <laughs> and I don't imagine uh, your your club back there in Fort Rouge, uh, Curling Club, is uh, they're up here early watching this here. Uh, or they could be watching it at home, though, too. It's a little early there. 
you know what? There's a lot of uh, a lot of our friends and family back at the Rouge that we got to send shoutouts to. You know, for <laughs> one, uh, the ice maker down at the Rouge, Craig, Craig White, Whitey, yes. we call him. Great disposition, just a friendly guy. Such this a good guy. Does a lot of good there. work for us. Oh, this rock is hanging out there. Yeah. Looks like it's a little heavy, just like our third man. <laughs> uh, ooh, they said you were, you're going to be a little comical force, and we don't mind that, not a bit. They, we won't tell them what happened either. Yeah, well, he, he won't sounds, be able to see it. Sounds the, a bit like an unkind cut there. <laughs> which one is? Which one is this? Well, we'll see what kind of shot we got here going here. Rocks on its way. That's not Very nice double take out here. Beauty shot. Beautiful. What a shot. That's what that's what curling's all about out there, folks. Shots like that. So how are you finding this? Lots of movement, enough movement. Ice is fantastic, you? it's moving, it's quick. We've had no problems with the ice whatsoever. In fact, we said uh, some of the best ice we've ever played on here. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Consistent from game to game, sheet to sheet. We're loving it out there. I, uh, I curl probably twice a week here in uh, afternoon league with the Omega League, you know, last letter of the alphabet. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always consistent. To, every day it's the same. You come out and... It, it's great for uh, a lot of our curlers have never stepped on the ice till after they retired, so they have to be 55 to play in the league. So they're having a great time out here. They just come out and they don't have to overthrow or anything or exert themselves too much to get the rock down the other end, which is a big plus. And with some of the old clubs around here 15, 20 years ago, you'd have to almost throw overhand to try and get it down to the end. So it's a lot easier on them. And, and the, and the little little rock kids are, are having a great time out here too. Really big league. Out here. Well, you can see on the outside sheets we could get them play a half a half a rink because they put up a divider between the two circles there and they just play. And, and That's fantastic. Big junior program here. Yeah, big uh, little rocks program. Juniors, uh, we did have a big uh, junior program here for a while. But, uh, not a lot of work on the mirror machine anymore, and a lot of the mills closed and everything. So when the when they, juniors do come up, uh, they go away to university, and a lot of them don't come back. So <laughs> you're not seeing, you know. But, but uh, they're getting a good basic in uh, in how to curl. We you can see a few uh, few of them here that went to went to the juniors, national junior ones. Jeff Tarko in the hack here, everybody. He usually struggles with these interns. He's currently 50% so far in the spiel. We'll see what uh, we'll see how he makes out here. It looks like he is. It looks like he's a little tight here. Uh, they we'll should see, get that uh, by. We'll oh, see yeah. if they can get it by. Okay, yeah. Looking good. That's coming down. <laughs> looks like Bazchuk's getting a little uh, over anxious there as he normally does. Maybe he overswept that a bit again. What's uh? That's a pretty, pretty good rock there. I mean, that's well, it's not the best. The boys, uh, the boys overcooked that one. I think again. It's well, a problem they, we've been having all week. I honest. think they were a little worried about getting it past that yellow one at the top and hit it maybe too hard, too early. So. Yeah, maybe it was a bad line, line call. You're right. But uh, you know, back to the Fort Rouge. You know, our fifth man out there, Hogger. Gotta yeah. say hi to him. <laughs> Gotta say hi to all the bar staff. Kitchen staff. <laughs> oh, we can't. All can't in now. Hey, we can't. For, we can't forget our ladies back home. Gonna say hi to all them. You guys know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not mentioning any names. Eh? Well, we could mention names. We got, you know, we got Megan, we got Tara, and we got, uh, you know, the lovely Angela Wickman. Everybody. <laughs> Do you think they would and be of up course, there at West? And of course, Cha. We can't forget about Cha. <laughs> oh, oh we got our, our second man back here. Uh, no, I was just talking what? to uh, I was just talking to the president downstairs there, and uh, 
uh, Sean, he was saying that you even paid him money to uh, so you could get on the oh. on the broadcast booth. But is there any is that any truth to that? Oh, that's not true. That's not true. So I've had a few fans here ask me to get up and well, uh, uh, say know, a few comments. You know how it's going to sound to uh, people back home, man. <laughs> Who are they going to believe now? <laughs> oh, they know him. Trust me. Look at the boys. Working hard boys on this Boys are working ride. this one. Yes, they are. If I was there, yeah, there's no doubt. They'd probably be off it right now. But uh, it's, a gorgeous it's coming down now. Nice very nice shot. Very, very nice, nice shot. shot. Looks like Andy's got his uh, draw weight today. That's that's not something that's uh, too normal for us. But... Uh, and Nunavik are fighting the ice right now. They just seem to be uh, that little... Just wrong side of the inch right now for these boys. But yeah. uh, they got one in the socked in there pretty good now. You know, I've got to say, great competition here. A lot of great teams out here. Every team, bunch, great bunch of guys and girls out here. A lot of talent, a lot of talent. Yeah, I was just talking was... to Sean there. He was saying that, uh, he said the com competition seems to be getting... The, they were there three years ago. He said competition now has increased... <laughs> twofold the competition side of it absolutely i know we made a few cuts on our team um, <laughs> our former second uh, mark Blanchard, after we went to uh after we went out to Kelowna, uh we had to make a move his percentages were a little low <laughs> might um, have been the travel that got him so now uh northern ontario's picked him up now so he's playing fifth for that for those guys <laughs> We've, of course, moved to our current second, Brent Baschek. Big upgrade there. <laughs> Not so, to denigrate any of your former players. Or former you. players. <laughs> he likes making fun of his former players. <laughs> oh my. It's all about fun. And this, is what, and this is what it's about. Uh, you got that right. Yeah. A little, little time out here. You guys are going to decide what, uh, what they're going to do here. Yeah. You know, we also got to send a shout out to all these umpires and all the volunteers here, drivers. We've had, we've had numerous drivers, such nice people. Vol you know, the volunteers, the, the, the umpires out on the ice, fantastic. Everybody's so attentive. Just great. You guys have done a great job here. Yeah, there's a, but Pat was saying today, this morning there, he, they got them added up. There's a little over 100 people, a little over 100 there volunteering for this, order, for this Canadian, and it's, a, it's quite an event. Yeah, not even, not even counting the people running the bar and making the meals here. <laughs> oh, the meals have been fantastic here, folks. I tell you. Yeah, but that's the seafood talking. Oh, huh? the seafood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so someone said the Team Manitoba won the case of uh, lo bottled lobster. Is that true? That is true. That is true. Grandpa Rory over here. Oh, okay. Grandpa Rory and Betty, all the way from, uh, all the way from Winnipeg. Took the train. Took, Took the, the train, train out here. <laughs> <laughs> Got 12, 12 jars of lobster. One didn't make it past five minutes in our room. <laughs> <laughs> and they were, they are good. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. The team's now into uh, fourth end break, Pat. Yeah, some of them. Uh, Looks like the boys yeah. got a nice one here. They're going to close this off. And good sweep have. in. Quality sweep in here. Yeah. Good work. Try and throw the uh, now intern what's he got? at it. I don't know what he. What do you guys think the call is here? I'm not, well, I'm he's asking say. for more. It must be a be back to... ring or something. They it will curl here on this turn, as you've seen out there. And it's also going to take uh, take away Nunavik's uh, draw, also. So Nunavik will have to come out wide here somewhere. Andrew Whitman down on the rock. Looks a little yeah, shaky on his delivery. He's like as he was trying to chip it out. Well, the boys. Right. We got to hit this sort of over. Oh, 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 just oh. missed. Just got oh, missed. just that missed, tough, boys. That was oh. a tough, uh, tough miss. Tough miss, yeah. They should have been, uh, should have been sweeping that. Uh, yeah, all know, the way. It looked like maybe a breakdown of communication out there. It could have been, and uh, maybe that's where your expertise would have come in. Well, there's I no doubt about that. But uh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what uh, what Larrabee's going to try here, but he hasn't got much to 
to shoot at on this turn, and looks like he's you know, held him to one here. Well, you know what? We'll never. You never know. I think uh, he's maybe just gonna, he could sneak one in here. You he's know, just trying to. He hasn't, he hasn't got much room to do it there. But yeah, he's got to get a piece of the button to, to do that. Well, yeah. Yeah. There's no doubt. Can. Level of difficulty on this shot's high. Yes, but, it uh, is very high actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. Uh. Looks like he's throwing it through. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, he's throwing it through. Yeah. No, no, no. Just up weight, maybe a little bit. Oh, here it comes. He will curl, but. No. And it will be. Pretty good draw weight, but he might have been better off trying the other side. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, after, anyway, difficult after hindsight, we hindsight. are taking a break here in the fourth end, so uh, yeah. we'll be back in uh, five minutes. Oh. And imagine podiums in far off places. Curling is what the world needs right now. Connection to one another, one team, one community. Curling is more than a sport. It's a lifestyle, a philosophy, a movement, a belief in self, in kindness, in good health, and in good fun. Supported by a passionate community, steeped in tradition, and united in pride. In a game of inches, every move counts. Are you ready to make yours? The support of the curling community makes it possible for thousands of kids across Canada to follow their dreams on and off the ice. Thank you for giving generously. Curling teaches as much about life as it does about sport. Club, team, house, lead, rock. These are the words of our sport, words we embody, powerful words, words that speak to everything we represent, respect, togetherness, strength. Our games begin with a handshake and a kind word. We congratulate our opponents when they make a good shot. We remain silent when they falter. We even call our own fouls. When we win, we celebrate with modesty, with humility. We own our mistakes. When defeated, we concede without shame. Win or lose, we hug with abandon because we genuinely care about our fellow athletes. Curling doesn't discriminate. The ice doesn't judge. It adapts. It accepts. Curling isn't a book to be judged by its cover. On these sheets, everyone is on the same page. It's what's on the inside that counts. The path to victory isn't always smooth. We use friction as an advantage and adversity as an opportunity. The battle is within ourselves to improve, to advance. We dream big. We play with heart. We focus on these circles and imagine podiums in far off places. Curling is what the world needs right now. Connection to one another, one team, one community. Curling is more than a sport. It's a lifestyle, a philosophy, a movement, a belief in self, in kindness, in good health, and in good fun. Supported by a passionate community steeped in tradition and united in pride. In a game of inches, every move counts. Are you ready to make yours? The support of the curling community makes it possible for thousands of kids across Canada to follow their dreams on and off the ice. Thank you for giving generously. Curling teaches as much about life as it does about sport. Club, team, house, 
lead, rock. These are the words of our sport, words we embody, powerful words, words that speak to everything we represent, respect, togetherness, strength. Our games begin with a handshake and a kind word. We congratulate our opponents when they make a good shot. We remain silent when they falter. We even call our own fouls. When we win, we celebrate with modesty, with humility. We own our mistakes. When defeated, we concede without shame. Win or lose, we hug with abandon because we genuinely care about our fellow athletes. Curling doesn't discriminate. The ice doesn't judge. It adapts. It accepts. Curling isn't a book to be judged by its cover. On these sheets, everyone is on the same page. It's what's on the inside that counts. The path to victory isn't always smooth. We use friction as an You know what you're doing. Move on now. We're back in live here, Cameron. So you can oh, fill in is. for Pat as he's as he's waiting. Have, we're gonna have a coffee. You can do some talking there. Hey, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure here. Uh, yeah, just to uh, update the folks uh, watching here. Uh, had to pull myself out of the game. Uh, my brother Scott Barth took over. Hopefully, he can uh, keep throwing 100 percent like uh, his former his brother did out there. <laughs> we'll see. We're gonna put him to the test here. In a minute. First shot of the end after the fourth end break. You got to be careful. Sp quick speeds up out there. Okay, younger bro. I can see him in the hack now. There's, there's the, uh, there's the. Is that the younger brother or the older brother? Well, again, a lot of questions about that. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, he's, uh, he's a little younger than I am. I know it uh, doesn't look like it, but. Uh, so how many years have you been curling? Oh, I've been curling about uh, 34 years. 34 years, I believe I started when I was about 10. That's the uh, same as me, but I started a little later than that, so. Over at the Fort Gary. Can remember my dad take me down to the Fort Gary? Here comes Scotter. Looks like maybe he threw too much weight here, I'm thinking. Yeah, you started then, Looks I started, hot. I was about 42, I think, when I started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks good. like uh, the pressure is getting to the younger bro here. Yes, it looks like looks he's like gone through. Looks like maybe it's through, yeah. Oh, oh it stops back 12. Well, not a bad shot for him, really. Um, <laughs> Well, that's kind of being mean to your brother, your little brother. <laughs> kind of passes out the compliments. I imagine, good. I imagine mother will have something to say about that later. No, she's gone. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> yeah, mom and dad are in the are in the audience here. They also made the trip out to Kelowna. Good family event. Oh, that's a great that's a great vacation, actually. No, oh, it is. It is. It's fantastic. Well, this rock's coming down here. Looks like the boys got it by. Yeah, right to the back one. And he hangs on to the back 12. Now your brother Scott. Yeah, Scott with a second rod here, here, I assume. Yeah, in behind the cover here. And well, the boys think this one's maybe a little closer. Yeah, the ice. Uh, uh, Cameron is, is running very well. Uh, we were timing it there, 14.2, 14.3. That runs about 24, 25 seconds. So that's that's fairly fast ice. You know what? Uh, very similar to our home club back at the Rouge, actually. Found it uh, found it pretty close in terms of weight and uh, and curl. And how many sheets of ice do you have there? Oh, well, we got a good good six sheeter back there. At the oh, Rouge. do you? Okay, right on. And you have lots of sponsors, like uh, like sitting here as, as the colorful side of it. We call it the. the all the sponsors on the ice. And Absolutely, we just hosted the Canadian mix there, actually. Oh, did you? Yeah. And great, and the, like you say once again, you know, the volunteer side of it, and you probably had 
would have had way over 100 volunteers doing that. You, you need uh, you need those volunteers, absolutely. And, uh, uh, you know, the curlers curlers get out there when you got a big event like that. You get uh, you get curlers, non-curlers, everybody out there to support. Great community event. Yeah, and and, and, uh, and it takes a community to make it to make it uh, to make it goals that miss bad miss there on poor Nunavik and uh, he knocks them both out now. So uh, Manitoba team Manitoba will attempt to uh, probably go to the top of the 12. I assume yes they will. They're gonna try it anyway. And it's Bashuk. Is that how was that pronounced? Bashuk? Yeah, well, that would be the fr French pronunciation, I believe. But uh, <laughs> I don't believe he's French, so no, no, I okay, usually so just call him Baschuk. Baschuk, okay. Yeah. Uh, he's a, he's a tall fellow. <laughs> uh, Got to be careful not to overcook his rocks. So hopefully the boys pick up on that when I'm not out there. So you never know. You know, there's no I in team, eh? Is it? Well, on our team, you know, uh, <laughs> we rely on the lead quite quite heavily. <laughs> good shot, good quite shot. As much, uh, but is it still a dandy? It's showing all of the rock. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll go through some uh, cur uh, scores here on sheet F. Uh, Alberta and PEI 7 nothing. Alberta's up 7 nothing. And our host game, Manitoba 5 1 over Nunavik. Northern Ontario over the Northwest Territories. They are tied 2 2. 3 2 for uh, sheet C. Between Ontario and Saskatchewan, it's 3 2 for Saskatchewan. And on sheet A, uh, Quebec and. Uh, uh, I think that's they're still Yukon. tied. Yukon, yes, Yukon. it is. Uh, uh, two, they're tied 2 2. And BC over Newfoundland, 7 3. That's a great update there. Uh, I'm sure the folks at home appreciate that. There, Pat is back after a short break. Oh, I had to get coffee to keep me going here. Yes, I had well, to grab one too. <laughs> but I like well, I think we're trying to throw one in uh, probably top eight foot here, maybe top four. Boys are backing off. Yeah, just to get around that corner, that guard, that center line guard, well, that comes, would be a great comes. shot. I'm trying to get some curl out of it here. It's not, doesn't seem to be breaking very much. There she's coming now. There now she's coming around. Oh, pretty good shot here. A lot of break from the hog line in. Rattle up, up his percentages, folks. Yes, from get the hog line in, seems like it's it's moving quite well. That should get him up to about 63, <laughs> 64. 64%. I don't know if we had anybody keeping keeping these stats at all. But Cameron's keeping them in his head, uh, yeah. I believe, uh, on the percentages. It sounds like he's uh, really being hard in his team because he's not out there. <laughs> <laughs> and there's not a thing wrong with that, Cameron. You, you keep those stats in your head. <laughs> Just enough to take that rock out. Yeah. yeah, a little hit and roll away there. Yeah, skip uh, no, another shot. Oh, another shout out to the folks back at uh, North South Consultants. That's where I work. Where is that? Uh, North South Consultants. Okay, okay. So you suppose those people work. will be up that early, this early? Oh, I'm sure they are. They're hard work, hard at work already by this time. What are we, three hours behind? You guys? Well, I think two. Two? Okay. Well, they should be up now then, eight o'clock. Oh, they'll be up. They'll be hard at work by now. Oh, well, just getting by here. That's a great looking video. shot. Great looking shot. Great shot by Jeff Tarko, everybody. Absolutely. That might up his percentages as well. I would think. <laughs> <laughs> We're making fun of the percentages. I see you. Uh, you guys are playing uh, quite a bit faster than uh, than none of it. You still got you got what, five five minutes of time on on them uh, right now. So. Well, that is one uh, one thing that seems pretty consistent out there. We do play pretty quick. Well, that uh, uh, shows uh, that you're in the game and you're all 
all psyched up for it, too. Oh, absolutely. Just a nice shot. Oh, very nice. A nice oh, shot. Very oh, nice shot. Peaked out, oh, maybe peaked peaked out, out the other bit, side, too. but that's but, uh, all right. It's back of the bite in the back of the forefoot. Yeah, playing on the... We haven't thrown too many down here. I guess we didn't. No, it seems like uh, I was saying to Pat earlier there, they seem to be playing to the right-hand side of the sheet a lot. Yeah. You know, this one we had a, we had a few take off on us here, and then we had one stay straight. So, let's see what this does here. Yeah, the the outside in ones a little uh, a little harder to judge the weight, a little more well, sensitive. Got to get on this one, I think. No, no, looking no, good. No, that'll get stay on pretty. There. They'll stay pretty good. The brakes late. Gotta be on that. Starting to break here. Gotta be on that. They got it. They got it. Yeah, oh, another nice great shot sweep in there by your brother. <laughs> he says, oh, "Don't give him too many kudos." Not there. bad for him. Not bad. <laughs> He does I've real well. You might not get back into the next well, game. <laughs> you know what? I've tried to teach him quite a bit, and uh, I can see that uh, it's working. <laughs> it's paying off. <laughs> the lessons are paying off. It doesn't seem like you're real happy about it. <laughs> well, I've tried to tell him to hit the gym a little more. Um, <laughs> yeah, take lessons from you there, would he? he? Well, that's for sure. He's not in the best shape, but... Uh, <laughs> As, uh, we have a few fans sitting, standing behind us here, on the, and uh, they're hearing everything that's going on, so they're having, getting a good little chuckle out of this. That's only because they're family, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and Nunavik will try the same thing, and uh, they're going to have to get on this right away because it, it does curl. Well, looks like it looks like a good yeah, shot. Out of here. He's, he has a oh, nice looking shot. Oh, very good. Great shot. Great, get shot. Over. Great shot is right. It's a skip. Now we're down to the skip rocks once again. Andrew Wickman yeah, coming back. The first he's skip there. Very serious. You can see he's. Oh, uh, he is serious. You can very tell. Very serious out there. He looks like a fun loving guy. Yeah, fun loving. <laughs> he takes a lot of time in the hack. That's one thing about him. Yes. Yeah. 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 Average is about uh, 5.5 seconds in the hack. Yeah, here he comes. Can't turn your back when you're down there. This guy doesn't think about nothing. That's, that's good. He's in there. Oh. Looks like he has a good looking shot. Well, the boys could roll this away here. The boys could roll this. Uh, yeah, the, roll this the, the other way. Oof. He is going to roll it away. Yeah, well, I think that's the shot. Pick that one out at the back too. Yeah. yeah he might roll out, but uh, that's all right. That is a great shot. Vic uh, will now try to uh, draw in around that somehow. Now, that, that shot might up his percentages a bit too. <laughs> You're uh, you're very big on the analytics, I see. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, on our team we we're keeping track out there. We're keeping track. Yes, sir. And it's all in your head. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got here? A little in turn draw. Four foot. A little in turn draw, yeah. And this should walk over him, no problem. Yeah. I agree, get a lot of curl on this, uh, this side of the sheet here. I'm tightening up the ice a little bit. Trying to be a late break here. Too. Depending on what he throws, of course. But. Well, looks, looks like a good shot here. They jumped on him right away, so. Getting uh, on it. Be it's uh, he gets by that uh, front one that's going to hit, he's going to have a good looking shot. Looks like he might be on the guard though. Nice, little light, looks good. Little light. Maybe, maybe it's only light. Uh, okay. 15, 15 seconds hog to hog. Oh, so. hog to hog, yeah. So there's an open draw for two. It's, or, uh, it's usually, usually running about uh, 14.1, 14.2 would be just to the hog to hog time, and it ends up usually right around the four foot. But that one was 15, so worked out about right. Now well, we got uh, got old reliable here, Wickman. Let's, uh, let's, let's see if drive. he can pull this off. Draw for two, eh? Pressure shot. Pressure right. shot. Spent all that time in the hack again, too, didn't he? He did. He did. Yeah. Uh, he's. He, uh, you should see him at golf. Yes, I imagine. Time. I imagine. He, uh, just walks up and hits. Hits it. They're not laying a broom to it, so no, he's, uh, he's close. Now they're clean. Now they're clean it. 
straight to the tee. Look at that. Great, great shot. Great shot by uh, Skip Andrew Whitman. Uh, he's Cameron, cool. I was going to ask cool you, uh, you, you uh, your team, has a, have they played Nova Scotia yet? I don't believe they have, have they? No, we haven't come up against okay, Nova Scotia. Okay, Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia. 4-1. You guys, are. this is your this is your fifth game, and it uh, looks like you might be going on to victory. So you play Nova Scotia this afternoon, and uh, that could be a turning point there. Oh, that's going to be, uh, you know, that it's going to be a, a battle point. out there. It's going to yes, be a battle. It, it is going to be because... Uh, so you'll be back in that game then, will you? There's no doubt I'll be back in that game. Uh, <laughs> love going to battle out there on the ice, and uh, you know, it pains me even to be out of this game. But uh, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. But oh yes, and yes, and it doesn't hurt to have the fifth in all the time. You know, well, they're a, part you of your gotta, team. Yeah, absolutely, got to get some reps in. Yeah, exactly. Here he comes, one another rock. Uh, looks pretty good this time. The only thing, as you say, you know, you, uh, you uh, the score is seven one. So you know, Nunavik, uh, they might go, they might go the full eight ends. Sometimes they they do, sometimes they don't. So that's the only thing. It's good to see uh, your brother uh, get in there and uh, Scott and, and give him some games. This is his first game that he's played, is it? It is, yeah. So these are uh, he was only a foot heavy there. Well, it's, it's not bad. No, that's for him. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. I'm surprised on that one. But uh, you know what? You got to give it to Scotter. He's been representing Manitoba out here. Um, you know, we've been playing every 9 a.m. draw, getting up early. But Scotter, he's been representing at a lot of the a lot of the shows, staying up late. That's good to see. It's all about the that's PR. What, yeah, absolutely. That's what curling's all about. A lot of fun. Yes. He's really working hard to get this one over the line. Oh, I think they got it. It looks like it's there. Yeah. Good sweeping by the boys there. Good yeah. sweeping, power, power sweeping. Yes, this is a, this is your first time uh, coming east, uh, Cameron. Oh, I've been out here a few times, Have uh, you? so it's not my first. But uh, yeah, you know what? The boys, we started our trip uh, last Wednesday. Visit a few places out places out here. You know, we've been to Fredericton, Moncton, Charlottetown. Oh, okay, great, great traveling then. Absolutely. Well, this one also looks pretty good. Coming down, Baschuk looks like he's uh, intent on keeping this clean here. Yes. Yeah. Shot. We got Coach Bob Wickman over here to, to the left. <laughs> it's great. That it's a family affair, as you said. So it's great that, that they all come, came east to visit uh, the Maritimes well, and, we and get lots of snow. Take That's some back with you. Well, we got Norm and Debbie Tarko. I think they're going down to uh, Costa Rica after when this tournament's over. Stay for a couple months. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Get mm -hmm. away from this. Uh. <laughs> no, we don't normally get snow this early. <laughs> well, Not that stays anyway. No. Well, but you know what? Winnipeg winter came fast too for us this year. So. Yeah, well, it looks like the boys got up two corners. Ideal situation here. So trying to get fight your way back here. It looks like old Wickman, he's having none of that. No, time to, time to hit, something. he says. Time to hit, Brent. Time to move out, John. We'll see if Bazchik can throw more than uh, <laughs> more than bumper weight on this one. He's known to sort of be down down weight on some of his uh, some of his uh, peels. So let's see if the boys can keep this one straight here. Pushed himself good. Looks out, it's coming like out a uh, million one. miles an hour. He might have a double here. He might. There the rocks go. Great and shot. Old Great shot. Well, that's, I'm as surprised as everybody else here. Um, <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. I guess that practice does pay off. <laughs> you better hope nobody's taping this for these fellas when they get out of the ice. <laughs> you know, to be honest, he's, he's fairly good at those shots. Uh, I th he had no problem keeping his weight up there. Yeah, he's got no problem throwing big weights. Yeah. He was a little outside, according to the skip here. Yeah, it looks like he is. Yeah, this one's hanging out there. Hanging there. Any big weight, uh, they, get they stay out. Should get a piece of it. Might get a piece Very here. Very little, yeah. yeah oh, a little piece. Enough to drive okay, it out. Yeah. Oh, enough to drive it out. There we, there we go. So Cameron, do you uh, do you your, does your team travel uh, like a little bit in the, in the fun spiels or the any spiels at all out there? That's a great question, but uh, I'm gonna put a negative on that. Uh, we don't no, we don't uh, we don't travel around much. We play in the MCA Bonspiel. Have you heard of that? 
No, what is it? Great say? event, great event. Uh, held in Winnipeg yes. every year. I think we just had the 125th. I think we're on, we're on the, I don't know which year we're on now, 127th maybe. So yeah. Bonspiel's got a big history there. And uh, involves all the clubs in the city. Okay. And uh, used to start uh, Thursday night and end on uh, on Wednesday night, the following week. But, oh, uh, a week? Yeah, sometimes, uh, I think one year we played 21 games in that spiel. Must be um, like the old one we used to have here, the Miramichi Open. Yes, the Miramichi Open. Yeah. 64 teams in it at one time. Yes, yes. And when we used to have three curling clubs here in the river, we had it high up as a, a 64 to 72 teams here. Oh, wow. Well, I think the, the MCA one year was 1,024 teams, I think. Oh, holy jumpings. You playing that one, Dad? Oh, yeah. Old, old GB over here, he played in that one. Yes. <laughs> We had your dad on here earlier. And, uh, he uh, he's enjoying himself down here in the in the east. He is. He's a good man. Well, here we go. A little, little. Oh, just that one curled a little more than they thought, I guess. Here. Yeah, it did snap over there at the yeah, end. Yeah, they are fighting their weight just a little bit. New Vic is so. Looks like we got Team Northern Ontario over here on shoot four in a barn burner up against the Northwest Territories here. Skip Gary Weiss, yeah, he's a good man. <laughs> hey, we, we should... Okay, this one's coming down. They're gonna uh, maybe try a little tap back here. Staying straight. Oh, whoa, look. Staying a little straight. Oh, maybe we'll just split it here. Oh, they might hit it right out, holy. Well, Jeff Tarko, oh. everybody. <laughs> we, were, we were talking to the uh, girls from Northern Ontario. They're up pretty close to Manitoba there, so they go to Fort Francis. Is. They're a lot closer to go to Manitoba to curl than they are to places in Ontario, I think. So. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, it looked like Jeff Tarko there was uh, throwing about uh, top eight, came out a little heavy maybe, through bumper. Took his own rock out, but uh, rolled over, still left one. Skip Larby, I believe, is just playing a draw out to the corner of that. Trying corner freeze. Corner, corner freeze, freeze here. Yeah, right? he's got a, he's trying to get a break here of some kind, but it's hard to do when your team, your team you're playing against is uh, throwing rock very well, so. Looks like he was here not quite go. behind that rock when he was trying to Put the handle on it, so. Well, the boys are on this one. The boys he was are on stretching this one. to get to the room. His body was carrying him the other way, I think so. He was going to uh, work hard. Well, it looks like he came up a little short here. But Wickman, that's, Wickman doesn't want any garbage around at this point. Time to... Just gonna get rid of it here. What's going on the rest of the games here? Maybe we should okay, uh, we'll uh, we'll give you an update there. Cameron and, and uh, on sheet A, which is uh, Quebec and the Northwest Ter or Yukon Territories, uh, tie, all tied up two two. Fabulous teams there. We played both those teams. BC and Newfoundland, or uh, BC's up on Newfoundland seven four. Ontario and Saskatchewan. Are uh, on sheet C and they're all tied up at 3 3. Northern Ontario and the Northwest Territories are up uh, 5 2 for Northern Ontario. And our host game, Manitoba Nunavik, are 7 1. And on the final sheet, sheet F, is Alberta over PEI 7 2 1. And all those games are in the sixth end. Well, and this, this shot looks like here it's got to move a little bit. Yes, it's not moving enough to get a corner freeze. Mm -hmm. So uh, Skip, Skip Wickman will play a hit here and roll to the open side. Hopefully. Let's just, let's just do a little time on seeing how long he is in the hack here. Yeah, let's get a time on him. <laughs> From the time his foot hits the rubber? Yeah. Okay, start the clock here. 
Oh, he's rubbing it off. Tends it a little longer this time. And there he goes. Can't turn your back on this man. 8.3 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty good. <laughs> Looks like he's uh, look like he's gonna make a shot this time. Okay. Yes, sir. That's uh, we'll have to give him all these recordings. Oh, now. definitely. <laughs> I'm, what do you think I'm doing with my phone? I'm recording <laughs> everything. <laughs> so, Cameron, you could be sitting out a couple of games. <laughs> unlikely, unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're all having you're just, just, you're we're just having starting a new here. career here. That's right. <laughs> yeah. No, no grind poles up here. It, but. Looks like the boys could have a double here set up. If they want to, uh, yeah, take it's advantage it. of the place one of those rocks here. We'll see. You. So, you guys going to be around here all week? Yes, uh, I'm. This is my uh, one more game to do, and then I'm off. I have uh, meetings in, uh, away. I'm also the city councilor here. Oh. So uh, I have meetings away starting tomorrow. So I'll be. Uh, this will be my last day here, and I have ball doing this all week. So. Fantastic! Great city here we got. Again, we've had a great time here. Great ice. Love your city. It's fantastic. River, very nice. Accommodations at the Rod, top notch. Yeah, it's a, it is a, a great uh, a great area, and it's, it's like in the winter time. It's uh, you're curling, but we're noted for our fishing and yep. the bass and everything else. So they're, they're sweeping hard here. Oh, yeah. Well, got the nose here. So. Looks like Wickman will just remove this one. And Maybe we should get a clock on him here one more time just to oh, see yeah, if he's... Why not? Why not? Just for entertainment purposes. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you need any more ammunition for him or not. <laughs> oh, 7.6. 7.6. Okay, uh, good. He's getting a little quicker. Oh, this one's coming down. Yeah, yeah looks, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll take the Looks like yet. he's on target here. Oh, two in a row. I would say Nunavik will have to, uh, they're going to have to draw. He's going to draw. <laughs> that late break on the, on the uh, soft takeout seemed to be catching a lot of teams here. Now. Yeah. They end up, looks like it's going to be outside and then it breaks late. And Pat's uh, doing hog to hog here and see what kind of uh, draw weight we do have. It looks like he's fine. 14-2. 14-2 should almost put him right on the button. What a shot. That's great shot. Great pressure great shot, shot, actually. Great shot. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I believe uh, Nunavik's debating whether to carry on. Well, I think uh, I think the boys should keep playing. Huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, your skip that's wants great. to keep going, too, because he was kind of pulling them back there. So. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, the boys could use the practice, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> well, I'm happy that these boys are keeping the battle going here. Just to, I, I sure don't mind being up here. You know. <laughs> it's warmer. It's, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Just a shout out there to some of our sponsors, uh, Pizza Delight uh, uh, here on the Miramichi. Uh, in Newcastle, uh, the owner David Hale, and we also have Jet Ice. And, and you know what? That What's pizza that? delight has been uh, frequented by Jeff Tarko. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's known to head over there around uh, one in the morning a few times uh, during this trip. <laughs> Likes well, his pizza, that guy. You gotta have your bed lunch, you know. <laughs> so, and also uh, Subway is uh, another one. Jet Ice uh, is another good uh, sponsor here in the on the Miramichi, and uh, Kent Building Supplies. Uh, province of New Brunswick, city of Miramichi, and, and of course Tim Hortons, Capers Pub, 
travelerscanada.ca, they're here, along a great big uh, one here on sheet uh, E. And we have uh, O'Donoghue's pub, Irish pub. Yes, that's, uh, we've been known to go there for one or two uh, pints. <laughs> Fresh pops. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they do have great entertainment there also on the weekend. So Great food, great food. Got some nice Guinness on top there. Yes, they do. Yes, for all you Irish people. Yes, absolutely. Here comes Scotter. Let's see what kind of weed he's got this time. Yeah, it looks like this one's actually coming in not bad. Scott has been uh, back house so far with most of his shots, but uh, this one seems it'll actually stop on the T line. It's good. Right on the T line, almost just Very touching good. the button. You must be uh, getting a little worried about your job there or something. Right? Not <laughs> even close. Not even close. That's way too deep. I would be. Uh, I'd be top eight there, but uh, not everybody can play 100 percent. No. As, as we all say, you would play 100 percent. We'd probably be up in an upper class in the in the curling side. Well, right? that's that's true. That's true. Well, as long as you're not playing like Ryan Fry, you'd be all right. Well, I was <laughs> I was gonna say they call me Mr. 100 percent back back in Winnipeg. Got a lot of games. Uh, got a lot of games in where you know, usually you know curling around 100 percent, maybe with bonuses a little higher, maybe, but. Uh, does anyone ever see your percentages, or are they just in your head? Oh, no, no, no. These, they're well known. Yeah, they're <laughs> <laughs> All in fun. We're having a great time here, and we're enjoying this. Uh, I don't know if that's on the inner circle or the outer circle here. <laughs> out to the <laughs> Fort Rouge Curling Club in, in Manitoba. Look at a nice freeze there. Nice freeze by Team New. Beautiful Newman. shot. And, uh, oh, here comes Scott, or corner freeze. Yeah, moves That'll it around work. a bit. That'll work. That'll, That'll work. work. Good work by younger bro there. No, if Nunavut, if Nunavut here could just nestle one in there, that would be top, top notch. Eh? But, uh, younger bro doesn't look real happy either. He just, <laughs> just going about his business. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to get his attention there through the glass, but uh, he doesn't Team want to look up. Team serious out there. Team serious. He must have got his uh, his hairstyle from your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said that one, not me. So. <laughs> well, it's good to see even our fans are we're catching on to our humor here. Great well, shot, uh, another great shot, another great another shot, great shot. Yeah, uh, the boys got to bail. Time to bail. Yeah. It is time to bail. Yeah, I yeah. see they uh, they bailed on sheet F. Uh, that game is now final. Uh, oh, yeah. 9-1, Alberta over uh, PEI. Here comes Baz, check another peel. Uh oh so that rock might kill somebody. Okay, whew, boys caught it. Northern Ontario came through there, nice little catch. Yeah, they played against you people before, and even on the other sheet, they're looking for trouble. <laughs> yeah, well, we, you know, in Manitoba, we got boards. You know, we play with, we used to play with boards, and you don't have to stop these rocks, but. Uh, yeah, our old little adjustment. Club. Yeah, our old current club had uh, had the boards down the, the middle of them, and uh, they found it better to get rid of them. Too much maintenance with them, actually. Yeah, uh, that, that's another thing. Uh, I don't know if all clubs are, have boards or not, but uh, it seems that everybody here is really uh, observant about the rocks on the other sheet coming into play. So they're watching pretty close, and I haven't seen any scoot over and disturb any rocks in the other sheet yet since I've been doing these games here so a few close calls on our sheets but uh, I gotta admit I was at fault did not catch them yeah, shout out to the the ladies from the Northwest Territories there one was one was coming in hot yes it was my fault I didn't catch it so apologies here comes Baz check again another peel Throwing pretty good weight too, isn't he? Uh, for these peels. He likes he likes throwing his peel weight. That bass check. Another another peel. Another another blind. Not leaving anything around after he no. throws. No, because uh, Manitoba is sitting in the uh, on the uh, button there. And uh, Nunavix is lying one or number two rather, and Manitoba is lying. Uh, one and three. 
You know, we also got to thank the organizers of the spiel. We got Rob and Maddie. Great job, done a great job. Can't say enough about the organization she's put into this. Is she the main, uh, the main organizer? Uh, well, she's been the contact for the teams. Uh, right on. I, I don't know all of. Uh, I'm sure I don't know even half of what the work that she has to do, but mm -hmm. uh, she's been great with all getting her accommodations ready, flights, everything. Fantastic. So are you? You. Uh, it all ends up on Saturday. So do you fly out Sunday or Monday? Uh, we're flying out uh, Sunday night. Sunday night. Okay. Yeah. That's a long haul, eh? When you're when you're doing that. Well, yeah, but uh, you know, it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint. You know, yes, that is true. Yeah. Yes. It's a grind. You got to grind out these games. Yes. CBC there and she'd be now as uh, over Newfoundland up nine four. So they have them in uh, a bit of a jam. Ooh, yeah, here comes this. That was uh, a strange release, sir. Uh, yes, it was. Yeah. Throwing up another guard here. Boys are on it. They're getting the. Bringing this one a little tighter, maybe. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, we're getting down to the skip rocks here, so. Third Jeff Tarko coming down the ice. Seems to be moving a bit quicker than uh, <laughs> normal. Oh, throwing up a, throwing another uh, peel. Another peel here. Another peel. Keep it wide open. Okay, here we go. Jeff's a tuck. Uh, throws tuck. But these shots normally give him a bit of trouble, but I see he's got this one made. Well, uh, you know, uh, uh, Nunavik has to yeah, that was about, move here. That was about seven seconds hog to hog there. So, well, <laughs> so he's moving. <laughs> Nunavik will throw up another center line guard. Uh, they are number uh, two rock in the house. We're having a measure here on uh, sheet D. Oh, yeah. Red gets that one, so it's red. Uh, Steal a one. Ontario. Northern Ontario yeah, gets the point there. Steal a one for Northern Ontario, and I make that uh, 6 2. After six ends. So we're down to Skips, skips Rocks here. Skip Rocks, the first Skip Rock, first yes, and he's throwing up, uh, he called for a center line guard. This one to curl a little bit, it looks like. This one was well out there, so. Mm -hmm. He's having a little problem. He's fighting the ice uh, this morning, the uh, skip. Uh, it's in late well, it's not a bad shot, really. Not Alex a bad Larrabee, spot for that one. Yeah. Now well, force them we'll to come we'll to the intern side. Try and put one on the center line. Yeah, he's just going to throw one in there, maybe corner freeze a little bit to that. Uh, Corner freeze there. Yeah, it looks like you want, yeah, corner freeze, calling that the top of the eight foot or top of the 12 foot there for the, uh, his num, uh, the Uten the rock. Make it tough for them to get in. Oh, for, oh, big update out there for all the fans listening. Uh, Mark Blanchard in the game here for Northern Ontario. And he has just, yeah, that's, we know this from him. Looks like his rock is over curled about a uh, foot here. This rock, really not behind. bad for him. It's only a you know foot off what uh, <laughs> what the skip wanted there. It's pretty close. That's uh, that's maybe why he's not on our this team is anymore. A great anymore. shot here by oh, uh, Wickman. Your skip. Uh, he's really heating up here. That's why he is the skip. I he, guess Andrew well, Wickman, a great shot. I don't know if it's shot making. <laughs> You gotta give a, a do when it's due, so that's a great know. shot. If anybody's uh, thinking about next year, um, just let me know. <laughs> Always looking, 
looking for <laughs> for an upgrade maybe. On maybe somebody squad. that throws 100 percent all the time <laughs> be looking for the skips job. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yes, sir. You've got to get rid of that wagon. Too fast in the hack. Too fast. In the hack. <laughs> it's too fast. Yeah, they they want to slow the game down some. Well, here goes Mark Blanchard again, folks. Let's see. Uh, let's see what he brings to the table this time. He's also tuck throws tuck. Yes, I see that. And that is a hard, uh, hard uh, one to throw the tuck. It you is. Gotta you gotta get low to the ice. You gotta learn when you're young. Yes. You learn when you're young on that one. He is playing. Uh, possibly, if he can get a piece of that. Uh, because it will go by there if he if he uh, this curls for him he can hit it onto his uh, yellow and be number one. You got uh, well, Mark Blanchard throws his other rock to Sam Freeze there. You only got eight minutes difference in time now with between you and Nuno. Oh, so. yes. <laughs> that is pushing. That is pushing time. No oh, Blanchard, I see he's trying to move over to the TV sheet here, <laughs> talking to Jeff Darko, <laughs> trying, to, trying to get some air time there. He's Larrabee's. Uh, Last shot, he's trying to uh, raise that onto his own. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Two big weights, but I don't, believe it'll cur I don't believe it'll curl with that big weight. No, no yeah, something didn't. could no. happen here. Something good could happen for these boys. No, right. So he's got the uh, Manitoba's line one, and it'll be a draw for two. Well, uh, I guess not. The They're boys, going to shake hands. going to shake them up. Well, hey, folks, it's been great here. So we want to thank Cameron Barth uh, and, and uh, yes, moving been, on. Uh, you know what? It's been a slice, as the pizza man said. <laughs> well, that's right. And you know what? Uh, we've got to send out a shout-out to the Manitoba ladies as well. I think they're still running pretty hot. Yes, they are. I, b I believe so. Skip Deb McCraner there. She's been playing well. Making a lot of shots. Yes, Manitoba ladies are at 4-0. So uh, they'll be up on the they, ice next. They I, must I, be I on the ice that. next, yeah. Yeah. And, so. Uh, so this year we guarantee you uh, at least... Uh, uh, Semi-final, uh, possible semi-final. So well, I don't know. I think uh, this game this afternoon might mean something. That will mean uh, the, the yeah, first so place or second place. Yeah. Yes, I so, believe so. Uh, so that will be a big game and uh, move you straight into the semi-final on Saturday, which would be a, a nice break for you. Semi-final would be Wednesday, is it? This is Friday. Fridays, isn't it? Or fri yes. Sorry, Friday. 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 Yeah, Friday. 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 You're right, sorry, you're right Friday. Cameron. Friday. Oh. Yes, it is. Uh, Friday, uh, the uh, quarterfinals are at 1.30 and the semifinals are at 6.30. Okay, fantastic. On, on Friday, with the finals going at 9 a.m. on uh, Saturday. So that's another early early morning. Another early morning, yeah. But that's what you're here for, to have fun right. and enjoy yourself. So I believe uh, that would take care of our, uh, of our coverage, Pat, uh, is it? Uh, Thank you. And it's nice, Cameron. Hey, good luck thanks very your, much, guys. Really enjoyed this up here. And, yeah, I, we enjoyed it too, and I don't imagine your brother did, but <laughs> the way. Well, but he, he wouldn't know about it right now, but once he finds out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I see your dad's over there. I've seen him taking notes, so. <laughs> Other than that, I believe that uh, we are now going off the air as uh, our sheets are, are completed. So thanks thank very you much. for your. your uh, Helping out here with your, with your color commentating. We enjoyed that, and good yes. luck the rest of the way. It was a lot of color. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. Advantage and adversity as an opportunity. The battle is within ourselves to improve.